Hey Tug Buds, it's Shifty, and welcome back to the channel for another current household update. So guys, we are here with the Woods family, and I know that you all have been asking where they've been, you're ready for the update, you wanted to know more and see them again here on the channel, so here they are. I don't know if I'm going to have more of them, we just have to see how things go. Usually with current households, sometimes there's one video, sometimes there's like a whole series, it just depends, and I don't really know what I'm going to do with them just yet because there's just so much going on with like content and everything, but they are back and I'm so excited to give you guys an update. So I do have quite a lot to update you guys on and the first thing that I want to point out is that Evan got a haircut. Now the reason Evan got a haircut was because his mom was so sick of his hair being in his face. She was like honey at least let me trim it and she cut it all off. <laughs> I mean, she just cut it a little shorter, honestly, but the deal was is that if he let her cut his hair, then she had to cut hers. And I think he was just doing it as a way to like help his mom feel better because he and his sister both know that his mom looks more put together when her hair is shorter, but she did agree to cut her hair and it made Evan so happy because he felt like he was going to be helping his mom. But as you guys can see, we do have a cake here on the counter as well as some grilled cheese. The kids made whole wheat grilled cheese and a honey cake for their mom because she actually recently got a promotion now last episode I asked you guys to give me some ideas as to what you thought she would be for like her career and everything and so many of you all said that you could see her for a nine to five Monday through Friday kind of job and so I thought that she would fit perfectly into the salary person career and she started off as a I think a new hire which was super fitting she really wasn't making that much money. It was difficult for them to get by. Their power actually got shut off and she barely made enough money to cover it. She actually ended up having to sell a tripod that they had in storage and that's how she was able to get her get their lights cut back on. Um, but the kids wanted to celebrate their mom so they made her some grilled cheese and some honey cake and you know it may not be the most fabulous dinner but I feel like it's the thought that counts. You know her kids were thinking about her and they were just so proud of her their mom just working so hard at her her job and really trying to make things work for the family and so they wanted to celebrate her today so we have this we're waiting on her to get home before we crack into this cake but she did say that she was going to be a little late this afternoon and so she was telling the kids hey go ahead and eat you don't have to wait for me that kind of thing and so they did actually go ahead and eat but I'm going to have Bree sit down and get started on her homework she's going to help Evan if he needs it but they have actually grown a little closer I don't know if you guys noticed it but they haven't really fought since the episode started and that is because they have actually had this sentiment here of the growing closer from quality time they've been cooking together they still have a difficult relationship but they have most definitely been working on just getting along better look at her she's like you want to listen to some music he's like okay um do you even know what i like to listen to <laughs> but it's so cute to see them officially getting back to how they were and i do think it has a lot to do with the fact that it is just the two of them now you know they don't have their friends they don't have everything um, that they used to have back home, you know, where they could go hang out and things like that. And so they've just been spending a lot of quality time together and really just strengthening their relationship, which is amazing. Now, Brie has had to do a lot of makeup homework. As you guys can see, she cracked open her book again and she's getting to work on some more stuff. And that's because she recently just brought her grade of an F up to a D. And Brie really wasn't doing that great back home with her education, but for some reason she's able to do a lot better here. I don't know if it's because she doesn't have distractions or if she's trying to turn over a new leaf or what, but she's doing a lot better. And I do also want to show you guys this trait that Evan got. He actually got a low confidence trait. And this is so sad. I really did not want this for him. But honestly, it makes so much sense that he has low confidence and why he struggles so much to make friends and everything. It's just really not in him to be social in that way. So it made so much sense. And I actually had somebody comment down below that they thought that maybe Evan struggled with just connecting with others and you know expressing himself so that just makes so much sense but i'm gonna have him come in here and sit down and watch some tv because i feel like the one who has the most going on right now is honestly brie guys there's so much to tell you guys about with brie so as you guys can see in the house i've started to clutter it up a little bit i took out all the boxes we're actually going to be approaching winter soon so we're going to get a christmas tree i'm thinking right around here would be great um but it's super cluttered in here got some magazines on the table the tv remote some blankets and also the most important part is pictures Pictures. We do have a bunch of pictures scattered around here. Lily in her bedroom, if we take a look, her pictures are still on the floor because I think that she's struggling with the idea of the fact that her husband is no longer here. So looking at pictures in her safe space 
aka her room is just not a thing right now that she wants to approach I guess and I mean that makes sense I wouldn't argue her on that I would just say hey you know I feel like she puts these pictures out here because this is her kids space you know they're in every aspect of the house except for her room and so she does want them to see pictures of their dad because they do miss him um, Brianna has completed her makeup work for the day that's great we're gonna bring her in here because there's a lot of pictures in here I want to show you guys so much so much to update you guys on Bri she's so busy and I do think that if I continue to play this household then I'll probably go off with Brie to college and do some things I don't know if she would be the type to stay on campus she really doesn't give me that vibe I would almost assume that Brie would probably get an apartment or something and maybe get some roommates and live in the city or now with the new apartment rent pack whatever it's called <laughs> I could honestly see her just giving getting an apartment in the college area and you know just staying with a bunch of roommates but we're gonna take a look at this bulletin board because there's so much to show you guys here <laughs> and some very important relationships so here we are on the bulletin board the girl with the blue hair and the guy with the blonde hair I've actually known Bree since she was a child they're all childhood friends the girl with the blue hair her name is Kendra and the guy with the blonde hair is Kendra's brother Ken they are the Carson siblings we created them on stream but these are her hometown friends and then we also have some pictures of Bree with her dad just scattered on the cork board this was a day at the pool where she just has the most fondest memories of her father and so I thought it would be cool to have those displayed up there but the photo booth pictures this was the last day that Brie was in San Sequoia and everybody was getting sloppy and crying and they were like let's just go to the photo booth and take pictures and then we have this picture here of Brie with Ken and Kendra we usually call Kendra Alexis so if I go between two different names for her that is why but Kendra and Ken took this picture with Brie and it says don't forget about us this is something that Ken wrote on the back of the photograph he really just didn't want her to forget them you know stay in touch that kind of thing and the sweet tea the sweet tea <laughs> between Ken and Brie is that they both have this kind of romantic interest between one another it's super cute ken is an overachiever he's an athlete he plays soccer and so he always has to have the best of grades and he used to help Bree study and everything so they have late nights spent pouring over textbooks and shared academic struggles have forged a unique bond Bree and ken support each other's educational journey exchanging knowledge and providing motivation and then we also have this. It says, in the shadows, an anonymous heart beats faster. Brie leaves subtle hints and gestures, hoping to capture Ken's attention. Brie's admiration remains concealed, adding an air of mystery and excitement to their connection. They both have a romantic interest between one another. She is perceived Ken as very attractive. And we can't see it here, but Ken also perceives Brie as very attractive. But he is back at home in San Sequoia, so things have been a little bit difficult. He and Kendra are honestly thinking about possibly flying out here if their parents allow it to come and stay. I feel like, you know, Mrs. Woods would not be offended if the kids stayed here. They got in some sleeping bags. They could sleep here in Bree's room. I just think that would be so sweet to have a stay over and for her to see her hometown friends again. But we'll just have to wait and see. But somebody new to the, the whole surface is actually this guy here. This is Enzo. And Enzo... He is perceived as basic looking on Bree's end. She's not into him. She thinks he's a cool guy. He's a friend. He's the first guy he talked to her when she was there. They have a neutral chemistry, but Enzo, he has a crush on Bree. And it's so sweet. It's so sweet. It's one-sided, but it's sweet. Um, and yeah, she she doesn't notice it. She's completely oblivious to the fact that he has a crush on her because she's so swamped up into Ken and she really misses him. And she just wishes she could go back home and be reunited with him. So in a sense, it's like a long distance love kind of thing. She's so sad and misses him so much, but it is what it is. Um, so I'm actually going to have her come in here and we are going to call it a meal. She's just going to be like, hey, mom, look, me and Evan, we made your favorite. We made honey cake, just like dad used to make it. We made the recipe and, you know, honey from scratch. Mom, you got to come check this out. And she's just like uncomfortable. Oh, no. She's probably thinking, yeah, their dad used to make me this cake all the time. She's like, I'll get some later, honey. I'm just going to start off with the grilled cheese. Maybe she just can't bring herself to stomach it. She's like, mom, you're not going to, you're not going to try any of the cake. He's like, yeah, mom, we spent all day making the cake. Now I know that that was pause, but <laughs> story purposes, we just pretend, right? She's like, mom, do you not appreciate the hard work we put in that? You think it doesn't taste like dad's? And she's like, no, honey, um, 
I'm sure it tastes good. And she's just thinking about herself. She's like, oh my gosh, these kids are probably wondering why I'm just being so moody lately. Now, Miss Lily has actually been dealing with a lot of stress from this job. She's had mental fog. She's also been feeling like she's missing out on the world. She got another pop up too, which I'll pop up here on the screen. I took a screenshot of it. I can't remember what it said, but it was definitely something I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to have her clean up her plate. And then she's like, okay, okay, I'll get a piece of the cake. Just, <laughs> just give me a second. Okay. I just wanted to start off with some grilled cheese. Um, but yeah, Lily, she has just been going through it. And I think that, oh, y'all, I'm telling you, she's probably slate cake and my friends fly in and stay with us. <laughs> like, let me think about it, honey. Got to talk to their mom, you know, just a lot going on. <laughs> um, but she's going to get a piece of this cake and she's going to sit down. So I've been thinking that we probably should get Lily to pick something up, whether that's jogging, yoga, something like that, because she definitely needs a pastime activity just to keep her kind of going and in brighter spirits because she's been struggling. Evan's like, mom, I'll catch you later. I'm going to go to bed. She's like, okay, sweetie, I'll tuck you in. Um, she's just going to eat this cake. And she's so sad. She's thinking about all the dates that she went on with her dad and I mean, it has been two years. They just recently celebrated the anniversary of his passing and it's just been rough, but she's trying her best and they thought that this cake would make her happy, but in a sense, it's almost just made her think about everything. They didn't know any better and she's not mad at them, don't worry, but um, yeah, she's just a little upset. I'm going to have her clean up and oh my gosh, there was something else that I wanted to tell you guys and I couldn't remember. Oh yeah, so um, regarding the salary position... Um, once we get some money saved up, we will go ahead and take those classes. And again, I'll just wait for you guys to respond if you think that she should do the veterinarian career or if she should become a registered nurse and we'll do it that way. But until I can get all the votes in, we won't really start thinking about her taking any college classes or anything like that. And then also we can't even afford... We can't even afford college classes right now. There's just so much going on. Oh my gosh, this house is a mess. Are you serious? I just got home from work. <laughs> I feel like that's what Lily's thinking. But she's not mad at the kids. She's just like, these pets. Oh my gosh, why are they so rambunctious today? We got... That's cute. That is so cute. <laughs> Jax is constantly getting dirty though. I have no idea what to do with this dog. He is just a whole mess. And I feel like Lily's like, oh, I can't let him stay dirty. He's going to get my couch dirty. Uh, not that this couch is brand new or anything. It's definitely been in the family, but let's just get him. Lily is burnt out. Lily is burned out. Burnout negatively impacts work, performance, and promotions, energy, fun, and skill gain. She'll recover over time, but taking breaks and relaxing will help speed up recovery. If Lily starts burned out, too, if Lily stays burned out too long, her condition may get worse. Oh no. Isn't this tied to like a death that came with snowy escape? Somebody needs to tell me. <laughs> Experiencing burnout. Oh my gosh. Consider stopping the grinds and taking a break. We honestly can't even afford that. We cannot afford for her to take a break. Oh, this is stressful. This is so stressful. I feel so bad for her. Lily, I think tonight is a, a bath soak night. We're going to have to 1240 in the morning. I mean, she's really just, she wants to go to bed. But she's like, I need to relax. I got to just chill. So I'm going to have her come in here. She's going to use the bathroom. And she recently just started her period. Oh, my gosh. We got to order pads and tampons. <laughs> Poor Lily. She's going through it. And then I think that we'll take a bath soak. And we'll do some lavender foam. Because I feel like lavender foam, that, that would be what I want. Lavender foam. Relax. Get your muscles all softened up and just take it all in. So I'll get her to lay down. And while she does that, I'm actually going to get Brie to wake up. Normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm going to get Brie to um, order some pads and tampons for her mom. Like maybe her mom's like, hey, honey, I forgot to pick some up. Can you order some? So it is going to probably send her to the store. But honestly, what I'm going to do is pretend to pretend that she like door dashed it or something because Lily would never send her kid out at like 30 in the morning or anything. So yeah, let's just pretend that she like door dash this or something because yeah no <laughs> because of my g shade i had to zoom in quite close on lily but she is just enjoying this bath her daughter said the DoorDash delivery should be here soon and they'll be bringing everything that she put on the pickup list. So she will be able to sleep comfortably and be able to use her pads and tampons as intended. And she also ordered some other things, you know, just some stuff to have in the house. You never know. It's not that she's seeing anybody or anything like that, but 
<laughs> we did pick these up. <laughs> so she has these. And then her daughter also takes birth control. So these are for Brie. And then we also got some extra ones just for Brie and her mom. So I'm just going to throw these in here. We can put those in mom's inventory once she finishes with her bath, which she just did. And I think that what we should do as well is purchase a facial mask. You know, let's just go all the way out for relaxation. I'm going to put on this one right here and hopefully it'll help with her burnout and she won't be as stressed tomorrow for work. I really don't even know what you do with that. Like, do you just miss work? I mean, again, Again, as I said, we financially cannot afford to miss work. Not at all. Um, so I'm going to have her unpack this box and we are going to auto use one of these pads here. Um, there we go. Hopefully she'll put that on. I hope she does. I haven't used this in so long. I don't remember. So I kind of just let Lily do whatever she wanted. And I came in here and she was napping on the couch. She's just now waking up from her nap. And she's like, oh my gosh, did I fall asleep with my face mask on? <laughs> Like, I'm so tired. A cleaning frenzy. Neat stones can get worked up into an energetic frenzy when the house has gotten dirty. I mean, I guess so. She's like, let me just go ahead and start cleaning. <laughs> It's six o'clock in the morning. So she accidentally fell asleep on the couch and it didn't take off her face mask. I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> but you guys ever have days like that where you're just so stressed from work and you just come home, you take a bath, you sit on the couch to watch some TV. And, and the next day you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, did I fall asleep on the couch? <laughs> and I do think that what we're going to do is we're going to do some laundry, add it to the washing machine. And I think that, oh my gosh, do we have any hours for PTO, honestly? vacation available we have four days of vacation so maybe maybe i will have her call out today i'll take a vacation day i i really think that she needs it and i mean we will get paid for it she doesn't want to use these all willy-nilly but it would just be really good for her to sit relax and reground herself and just have a mental health day take care of herself so you guys have a company that you work for that honors mental health day because i feel like it's so important for companies to do that i might turn off this period thing because this is a lot of work <laughs> but it's so nice i remember when i worked at starbucks mental health was actually very important and i actually appreciated that from the company so much um but lily has taken a vacation day enjoy your day off her boss was like hey it's fine oh my gosh i just realized i used my vacation day and it's actually the holiday <gasps> we were gonna be off anyway i complete look in a way, this makes so much sense. Lily is so stressed. <laughs> She's like, crap, I forgot about Harvest Fest. It's Harvest Fest. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so bad. I looked down and I noticed that the gnome was here and I was like, wait a second. And oh my gosh, she still has her face mask on. <laughs> I was really going for aesthetic for this video, guys. I promise you I was. And it just did not happen like that. <laughs> and that's okay. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. <laughs> um, let's come out here and pick up this trash can. It's a very gloomy harvest fest, but hopefully the sun will peak out later. I mean, it is only 7 o'clock, so maybe it'll pick up later. Well, let's go ahead and come in here and we only have 68 simoleons to our name. So I do not think that we're going to be making a grand dinner unless we can somehow come into some money or something like that. Because let's see, how much is it for a grand meal? I think they're really expensive. Oh my gosh. We could have a grand breakfast. It's 62 simoleons. And honestly, if my mom made something like that and we were low on cash, I would just eat this, eat it all day, <laughs> honestly. So I'm going to have mom come in here and she's going to make a grand breakfast and she's going to whip this up for her and her kids. Now, as, as I'm playing this, I, I know I said in the beginning, I didn't know if they were going to come back, but honestly, I'm having so much fun with them that they probably will come back in the channel some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends i wanted to help but i didn't know what to do what do you think i should have done i'm gonna say step in and stand up for your friend yeah most definitely um but yeah as i was saying i'm starting to get reattached to this family again so i do think that they'll probably pop up again on the channel and the reason i wanted to point this out is because i was wondering do you guys think that i should create lily's in-laws because yeah lily doesn't talk to her parents or anything but should we create adam's parents maybe they're still back at home in san sequoia and maybe one day they're just like are you doing okay lily like maybe they check in on her or something like that that would be kind of cool 
Um, and maybe if we have financial struggles in the future, maybe they could help us out or something. I don't know. I was just really thinking about that. Maybe we should get deeper and really explore the relationships further. This is almost like my growing together thing. Like, cause I haven't played with growing together really. I stopped my let's play again. I talked about this last time <laughs> and I'll make a whole video on it one day. I promise I will. But this would be a really cool way for me to explore the features of growing together. So I don't know. It might be something that I could really consider. Um, but Lily's over here whipping up this grand breakfast. She told the kids, she's like, hey, listen, you guys know, I don't really like to talk about this with you guys, but finances are really tight here. We're not doing the greatest. And um, yeah, so we're just going to have to make do. I can make you guys breakfast if that's okay. And of course, the kids are like, mom, it's okay. Yeah. You don't even have to make us breakfast. We're fine. <laughs> Lily's in here um, just cooking it up. Bree's trying to help out. And Bree is also wearing her father's old leather jacket. It's just so sweet. Oh my God, I would love to make coffee, but we don't have enough simoleons. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so sick of this irrational danger thing popping up. Freaking Evan is causing everybody in the house to panic. Like, <laughs> oh my nerves. And honestly, you guys see these gnomes? They, I don't even want to play with them right now because I don't have the simoleons for the fallback if they cause me problems. So honestly, what I'm going to do, you already know. <laughs> I'm going to sell these. And maybe this is like their savings account. You know, we don't have the money to tap in to actually have a full dinner or anything like that. This is just our savings. So maybe that's why she didn't use the money, but um, I don't have time for them. They'll just come in here and break things. And that's just not the, <gasps> that's just not the vibe. What also is not the vibe is Cleo having freaking fleas. <laughs> okay. All right. And so Lily's like, honey, I took the, the pet to the vet last time. Can you, um, can you take Cleo yourself? And she's like, yeah, mom, I'll take Cleo to the vet. Do I just use the savings account? And she's like, yeah, just use the savings, savings account money. Just get those fleas out of here. <laughs> cause, cause if Cleo gets fleas, guys, you already know that once she has them, Jax is going to be the next to get the fleas. And I just don't have the time for all my my pets to have fleas so i think that the vet clinic is in willow creek also guys please just completely disregard my game it is very laggy because i have way too much cc in here um but the vet clinic is here it's the willow creek vet clinic i think this is the one that i went to last time so we're gonna go here and take cleo hopefully they're able to see her i know it's the holidays and this is really short notice again we're doing another walk-in and hopefully they can just excuse the fact that we were not really for I maybe mean, who's prepared for for vet emergencies nobody <laughs> that's why they're called emergencies i'm over here stressing like Alyssa, get it together <laughs> oh man but here we are oh this is a cute coos oh my gosh coos is so cute look at cleo <laughs> we got this cat out here in the rain <laughs> let me pick her up and we're gonna come in here and get her checked out we'll place cleo on the ground here um, let's see, sign Cleo up to cure sickness. Yes, that's what we're here to do. Oh my gosh, I'm so sick of the rain. I'll be so happy when my game is in winter and I can just have snow. That will be that'll make me so happy. Like I'm ready for some snow. <laughs> um, but we're just gonna go in here and get Cleo checked out. Hopefully this will be a quick cure. I mean, I don't see why we would be here all day. She's like, here you go, Cleo. I'll get you out of the rain, baby. Um she was taking her sweet time. Okay, it's our turn now. So we'll go ahead and sign her up. I feel like this is all we do in this current household is come to the vet. <laughs> I promise you guys it's not intended to be like that. <laughs> but I have just been visiting the vet an awful lot. I'm just looking at <gasps> Basil, 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 Alyssa. <laughs> Me trying to be fancy, Basil. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why I said it like that because clearly it said basil and I know how to say basil. <laughs> Help. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's have a friendly introduction to Brazil. <laughs> now it's just going to be a joke. <laughs> oh, he's kind of precious. I don't think he goes to school with us. Maybe he goes to a different school. No, maybe she was out here and she was just kind of bored of waiting for uh, Cleo to get called back. And she's just like, let me just talk to this this other kid over here <laughs> he's he probably started the conversation he's like hey i've never seen you here before do you um 
do you go to school at me over here thinking east high the first thing that comes to my brain because high school musical but uh no we do have the prom tab because prom is actually tomorrow but honestly i don't even think that brie has anyone to attend prom with she doesn't know anybody um she's like oh okay um it was cool talking to you uh you can add me on sim's book i have to go back with my cat now <laughs> so just end that conversation really quickly i think cleo is going to be seen in this room here so we'll just go back here i hope that everything's going to be fine i mean it is just fleas so they'll probably just give her a shot or something like that and treat it really quickly um He's like, hey, your mom was here last week with y'all's dog. Sorry if you guys hear them cutting grass outside. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to go for the basic treatment. Oh my gosh. Did you really have to put a cone on my cat because she has fleas? Don't you guys just give her like a vaccination or something? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Cleo. I'm so sorry. We're going to Simstagram this moment because I feel like she would send this to her besties back home. Be like, guys, do y'all see Cleo? She's got a cone get a comb we're so sad <laughs> but it's cute too <laughs> but before we head home i am gonna have her video call like we're gonna video call ken because maybe she's just missing ken she's like hey cheese <laughs> maybe that's his nickname or something i don't know she's like did you see the cone picture yeah cleo she looks crazy doesn't she i know they said it's only temporary though hey did you guys ask your mom if you can fly in and visit me you know, maybe next week or something like that. That'd be really cool. I miss you guys so much. My mom, she said, as long as your mom says it's okay, it's fine. Um, and he's like, okay, I'll um, I'll double check on that. But I got to go. Coach is calling, that kind of thing. Um, so, oh, gosh. She's feeling, who was thinking about her? <gasps> Brazil. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm done. I'm done. Basil is out here thinking about Brie. Um, maybe we can exchange numbers. I really hate how it's only available in this romance tab because I feel like friends exchange numbers, you know, whatever. <laughs> but we'll just pretend that they already exchanged numbers and, you know, she'll talk to Emily or something like that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and head on home and get us a bite to eat and just see where the day takes us, I guess. This is a really interesting update video. Hope you guys are liking it though. <laughs> So it's the next day. I decided to go ahead and wait until the day passed because there really wasn't much going on with the family. But we are here. It is officially Friday. Today is also prom night. And so Brie is actually going to be attending prom. She didn't think that she would, but she's going to be attending. Oh my gosh, them hugging is everything that I need right now. I'm so happy that they're getting along. But I didn't record the portion, but Brie and her little brother actually went to the school's fall football game. And it was just a bunch of stuff going on, you know, kids socializing, awards being passed out and everything. And when she was there, it was cute because Enzo, you know, the guy I showed you guys earlier, he started to talk to her about prom. And so she beat him to the chase and she was like, hey, yeah, prom, let's go as friends. And if I, w I wish you guys could have seen it because if I would have been recording, you should have seen the face that he had. He looked so sad when she was like, yeah, let's go as friends. He's like, okay, yeah, I guess. And he agreed, but I think he agreed just because he wanted to go with her, but he wanted to go together as more than friends. And so it was kind of heartbreaking, but it, it happened. <laughs> um, Another thing that I want to show you guys is that Bree's desk is out here in the living room. And that is because mom agreed and our friends are going to be coming and staying with us. We got two sleeping bags in here. We will be selling these so they can get their money back. Um, but yeah, her friends are going to be sleeping in here with us. And if we go to the calendar, you guys will be able to see it. They will be staying from Saturday all the way until Monday morning. I'm so excited. And I do think that we might get some snow. So that should be really fun. But she's so excited excited she's so confident her friends will be in here over the weekend brie has also been really thinking about the fact that she might confess her feelings to ken when he comes in and she's so nervous because that would be a long distance relationship and how would they even make it work you know it's just a lot of stress and what if he doesn't like her back that kind of thing she doesn't know that Ken has feelings for her. I mean, Kendra knows, but she doesn't know. And so it's something that really stresses her out, but we'll just have to see. But yeah, I think that things will work out really well for Brie and Ken. I mean, what if right off the bat, he's just like, yeah, let's do it. Let's make it work. Let's try to date long distance and see how things go. You know, that could be really 
exciting for the both of them but then also there's a chance that he says no because of the distance like even though he likes her he could say no and he could be like hey i don't want to ruin our friendship <laughs> So there's always that, that factor, but you know, we'll try to be hopeful. She's feeling confident. And I do think that, yeah, when he comes in, she will a hundred percent go for it and just lay it all out on the table. But today is the last day that Lily will be taking a mental health day and then she will be returning back to work. But she just really wanted to get out and go jogging today, you know, just view the area and just take a look around and like I said, enjoy her last day of her mental health break and she's officially over her burnout, which is really great. I was worried there for a minute because I didn't want anything to happen to her and I honestly don't know what does happen when your Sims have a burnout moment. Like, do they, do they, is that a death or like what? But I'm actually going to have her go ahead and we are going to go jogging and like i said just try to take it all in it's the first snow of the season she's so excited it's probably freezing out here um but she just wanted to take a jog around the neighborhood and guys do you see wait who is this i'm sorry i'm me over here trying to find her potential suitors he's fine <gasps> i've never seen this set before let's take a look <laughs> i mean we're just shopping for her right <gasps> oh my gosh Guys, he doesn't have a spouse and he doesn't have any children. I mean, but she's jogging the opposite way. So <laughs> y'all let me know if we should revisit this because he's kind of cute. <laughs> um, but she's jogging the opposite way. So we're not going to pay attention to that because realism, right? <laughs> but this place is so beautiful. She actually really does miss San Sequoia sometimes. But honestly, something about this very quiet neighborhood is just everything. She loves the people here. They're so friendly out here. And she's just really enjoying it. You know, it's a fresh start. Um, oh, I love this house with the Christmas lights. Oh my gosh, that's so retro. And they've got the, the very colorful lights. That's perfect. <laughs> okay. Oh, this guy's stopping up here and he's talking to somebody else. Maybe she bumps into them and she talks to them. Oh, yeah, let's say hello. <laughs> let's say hi. You know, maybe she's just trying to get to know the neighborhood. So we'll say hi to both of them. Plus, I feel like she doesn't really get time to like socialize and speak to people. Oh, how unrealistic for you to change like that, Lily. <laughs> but she's just going to say hi and... Hi guys, I'm, I'm new to the neighborhood. So nice to see somebody while I'm out on my jog. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and change her back into her jogging attire because again, why would she just change like that? So let's put her back in that. And he's like, oh, hello. Hey, we haven't seen you here before. It's nice to meet you. He's like, oh, I've got to go. She's like, I'll see you later. <laughs> Maybe he was just stopping and talking, but that was cool. Uh -huh he's gonna go too that's fine um i'm gonna just resume my jog he's she's just like oh i'm just saying hi to the neighborhood <laughs> that was awkward um but i just feel like you have to be a little awkward and introduce yourselves like that so yeah it's okay um but she's gonna continue with her dog at least she said hi to the neighbors that kind of thing oh my gosh this town is just filled with beautiful people <laughs> oh a celebrity a notable newcomer oh my gosh should she have been talking to this man? Because he's cute. Hang on a second. I'm just so curious. Oh, of course, they're always taken. <laughs> Isn't that what people say all the time? The good ones are always taken. <laughs> I can't. Um, but, oh, wait, there's a little stall over here. I kind of want to check this out. Oh, she's so cute, Alina. Yeah, let's come over here and it's a fall stall so we can get some coffee, we get some apple spice nog. Oh my gosh, the camellia tea, <laughs> spice sparkling apple juice. Let's get some coffee. She's definitely a coffee drinker. So we're going to come over here and grab some. Oh my gosh, please stop changing your attire. I really hate when the Sims do that because it's so unrealistic, right? Like why, why do they do that? I guess it's to help us out, but as the players, but I don't really want them to do that unless I do it. Um, but we're going to bring her over here and grab our coffee. It's just taking in all the fall vibes. I do love the colors and the rain. Typically, I will cheat this away, but it's a light rain, so I don't mind it too much. But we're going to get our coffee, and I think that we're going to go sit on this bench over here. Oh, she's just going to this one. Actually, this is perfectly fine. Yeah, let's, let's sit here and enjoy our coffee oh 
oh my gosh this is so nice like what a vibe i wish this was me tab well her glasses are in the way but you guys get it but yeah this is this is relaxing oh my gosh honestly seeing the glasses floating is reminding me of hotel transylvania <laughs> the one character <laughs> But with that coffee, obviously comes an immediate enema, so <laughs> she has to run back home and go to the bathroom. But it was nice to go on a jog and just kind of take in the surroundings and everything. This was a nice, like, little little moment for her. Um, but we're going to go in. Thankfully, she was literally right beside her house because, like I said, this coffee is working faster than an enema. And she's got to go in here and just squatty on the potty. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll just let her take care of herself and get that all situated. As I do think that I'm going to wrap up this part right here. I hope you all enjoyed. I really just wanted to sit down and play. So hopefully it felt that way to you very authentic and just natural. I will be taking screenshots of prom and I will also record when the friends come over. So that way you guys can meet Ken and Kendra in person. But thank you guys so much for asking for this family to come back because I really didn't even know how much I needed this gameplay. <laughs> so thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave Leave a like, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to become a tugboat. I love you guys and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.